Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, Raphael. That's right, we're taking a look at the four turtles as they appear in the brand new Out of the Shadows film, so let's go ahead and take a look at my personal favorite turtle, Raph. As you can see, he comes on that same style blister card packaging we've seen for the other Out of the Shadows figures. It features an image of Raphael from the new film in the upper right-hand corner of the box, and the blister bubble fully showcases our action figure within. And if you flip that box around to the backside, we do get a look at the other figures available in the Out of the Shadows lineup. So let's go ahead and pull Raphael outside of the packaging and take a look at him. Now, Raphael uh, has been depicted as being huge and big and hulking in these new films. And while I don't necessarily agree with the big giant size of them, uh, I do see why that this particular character would have that style. He's always kind of been the hard head. He's been the one with the attitude. So they made him kind of the big tough guy. So it's kind of cool. And as you can see here, um, he still has that same style. But as we're going to look at when we get more into the comparison time later on with the first movie figure, uh, there's a lot of difference going on here. He's a lot brighter looking the style is just a little bit different so we'll get more into that in just a bit let's go and look at some of those details on this new figure here uh you can see just like before Raphael does have that full over the top bandana this time it fully covers his head uh but this time he does just have the two regular ties hanging down instead of like a full like do-rag kind of thing that we saw the first time around uh he does still have that same kind of mean looking face it's rounder there you can see the kind of the grimace on his face there look at that neck muscles Urgh! like he's kind of like really um cinching up those neck muscles which is kind of fun uh, you can see he's got this black kind of uh, bandolier thing that he's wearing. It goes around his waist, comes over both shoulders, does have a nice silver buckle in the middle there. He's also got like a shoulder pad that's over the left shoulder. It's just black, it's unpainted, it's attached to that strap there, so you can see it's a little pliable. As you come around on the back side, we can see his nice turtle shell there, which is very nicely done. We can see his shell more than any of the other turtles in this lineup. Lots of uh, creases and cuts and everything in it, which looks cool. You can see he's got like some little ninja stars uh, sculpted into the belt. They're unpainted, they're non-removable, but they're part of the sculpt, so that's kind of cool. They're on both sides. You'll also notice on the back that we've got some little clips on the back of his belt and some little green clips on the back of his leg. So he's got four clips in all. We're going to come back to those in just a bit. Let's go ahead and come back around to the front. You'll notice that he does have uh, this belt, I guess, tied around his waist, which looks like it might be tube socks or a shirt. I don't, I don't know what's going on. It stops at the shell there. So that's interesting, I guess, but I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, then he's wearing shorts as well, very similar to what we saw with Mikey. They're just gray shorts there. Uh, you can kind of see he does have some little knee pads underneath the shorts. They are the same color as the shorts, though, so they blend in. Uh, then we've got some little wraps coming around his feet. And he's the only turtle who's not wearing shoes. You can actually see his turtle feet. So, way to go, Raph. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and talk articulation on Raphael here. That head's on a ball joint, which allows it to roll left and right. It can slightly move up and down, but because of like the style and the sculpt here, uh, it more just kind of rocks left and right than anything else. You do have ball joints at the shoulders. You can see that shoulder pad doesn't really get in the way at all. It moves up with the arm. The arms can also move forwards and backwards. We have swivels at the elbow as well as a standard elbow bend. And we have swivels at the wrist. Nothing in the waist there. We do have the hinge joints at the thighs. So they can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. Swivels at the knee and standard joint at the knee with nothing else at the ankle. So articulation is pretty much exactly what we've seen with all the figures in this particular lineup. And it works out really well for these guys, I think. The figure is very solid. I think the paint job is pretty great on there. I do really like the bright colors. So Raph does come with a few accessories. First of all, of course, we've got his signature size because can't have Raphael without a size, of course. They're molded in a solid silver, so the handles are not painted. He can hold them in his hands, kind of normal style. Uh, you can't really get them. I always like to try to get Raph holding with like the blade through the fingers. And as you can see, it doesn't really get a very good grip on there. Uh, the hands aren't quite open enough to fit it very well. You can kind of squeeze it. Hey, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so I got it on there with the left hand. I was definitely having problems with the right hand earlier. Let's see if I can do it here too. Yes. Okay. That is much better. So there we go. I'm glad I figured that out right here, guys. <laughs> uh, I, I always appreciate being able to pose Raphael in this particular stance. That looks really great. Now, uh, let's jump back to the back side here because I showed you guys that we've got these little clips here. Uh, and you got these two up here on the belt and these two down here. Now, we've got four because he comes with more accessories than just the size. Uh, I assume that the size go on the legs because they seem to fit best there. 
Let's look at these other accessories really quick. We get these things. Honestly, guys, I have no idea what these are supposed to be. Maybe this is something movie specific that we're going to find out. If you guys know, feel free to tell me what they are in the comments of this video. I don't know what they are. I I'm not sure. You can hold them in his hands. You know, he can hold on to both of them. I don't know if there's some kind of tools. I don't know if they're supposed to be like some kind of weird alien crank weapons or something. Uh, but he does also have these little straps on the back of his belt, which seems to be the proper place to hold those. So I don't know. Maybe I got them backwards, but these seem to be best with the size on the legs and those things on the back of his shell. So there you go. All right, guys, it's comparison time. You can see a big difference between this figure and the figure from the first movie. This new one is a lot brighter in color. Um, the other one, you know, looked... I don't know. The, the other one had a lot less going on as far as, like, uh, clothing. The new one's wearing shorts and everything. The old one mostly had, like, a loincloth thing. He looked a lot more barbaric. So... I kind of liked the design of the first figure, but I think I like the new one a, a little bit more. He's very solid. He's a nicely done figure, and I just really like the bright colors. I don't know. I'm kind of a sucker for the bright colors on the turtles. So there you go, guys. There's a look at the brand new Out of the Shadows Raphael action figure. Uh, he looks really great when you pair him up with the rest of the turtles. He's the bigger of the group. He's definitely the uh, widest of the group because he's supposed to be the bigger, more muscular. Uh, he looks great paired up with some of the villains in this lineup. Uh, and overall, I feel like he's a very solid action figure. So if you like this particular style from these movies, I think you'll really like adding this guy to your collection. The Out of the Shadows figures are starting to hit store shelves right now. So happy hunting, my friends. And hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on a review. Until next time, my friends.